Everything you read in golf tells you to get your weight in golf just kind of in the balls of your feet, just right behind the balls of your feet, okay? Now, when, we, when I played basketball to pay for most of my college, and when I played baseball and tennis and different things, when we have the weight in the balls of our feet and our toes, we're ready so we can push off and go somewhere quickly. In golf, we're in motion, but we're not going anywhere. So we've got to figure out how this thing works. Anytime, the other thing we're told to do is flex our knees. Now, whenever we stand here and flex our knees, the weight automatically moves into the balls of the feet. Now, we play all of our sports with flexed knees, except golf. When we flex the knees, the weight goes in the, arch, or in the uh, balls of the feet. With the weight in the balls of the feet, this knee is bent. The weight's in the toes and arches. You can't, the human body locks up. You can't rotate until the leg gets straightened and the weight gets into the heel. So we don't want the weight to have to travel from the right foot to the left foot. That's a sliding motion. We want the weight really go from back here like throwing a ball. The front hip pulls out of the way. The front leg, when you watch a baseball batter, he doesn't come here. He takes his stride. The front hip clears and this leg straightens so he's got something to brace against for power. Golf is very, very similar to that because it's the same swing. Now the way the human body is made, if I stand here like I'm just talking to you and comfortable, my weight is not in the balls of my feet, it's in my arches. It's not in the heels and it's not in the toes. It's just in the arches to stand and talk. If I take this golf club and just set it flat on the ground and leave the weight in my arches, there are a ton of things that happen great in golf. Number one, that makes me almost vertical from the ankle to the knee and then from the knee to the hip goes back. Now, a lot of golf instructors mistake that and they say take your dress position and stick your butt out. That just creates tension in your back. You don't need that. Okay. What happens if you take a grip on the golf club and you set it down with the weight in the arches, you'll feel like you're going to make a little bow to the queen and your butt will kind of move out and, and it's relaxed. Everything's fine because that keeps the weight in the arches where it belongs. Here's the reason it's so important in the arches. When I have the weight in the arches, now it's very easy to rotate to the target. As I'm in the arches and I rotate to the target, I stand up vertical on the front side. The weight's in the heel. Golf pros on tour all end up with the weight in the heel, not in the toes and arch, not in the toes. So the first thing you got to learn to do is get a position, a dress where you belong, and get your weight in your arches. Now something's going to happen real strange when you do that because you've been here. I'm going to, just for the fun of it, I'm going to lay a golf ball out there and I'm going to flex my knees like all of you are doing with my weight in my toes and balls of my feet, or in the balls of my feet. Now I put the weight in the arches. Look what happened to the golf ball. Now I got to reach to get to it. And that's where you're making a huge mistake, most of you. You're trying to get in position, keep the ball way out and away from you. And reality, as soon as you get your weight in your arches, you're going to be standing up taller and the ball's going to be closer to you. Now I'm going to talk next in just a moment or two about the next thing that happens in that process. Let me grab a pitching wedge and I'll show you what it is.